You've had some time to reflect. Do you wish you did anything differently? No, I'd do it again all over again. If you play with fire, eventually you're going to get burned. And uh, he, he messed with the wrong guy, and uh, I don't think he realizes that we're in the same division and uh, have a, a great memory. If they're in our division. Hopefully I'm here for a long time. <laughs> Next year, year after, year after that, you know what I mean? <laughs> like it's, there's no running away from it. Eventually he'll get his. It was a salty Saturday night in Calgary between Zach Cassian and Matthew Kachuk. Welcome to Instant Analysis presented by Tylenol Rapid Release Gel Caps. Rapid Release for Rapid Relief. And look who we have in studio. Flames insider Ryan Leslie making his first appearance in the digital studio because the Flames taking on the Leafs on Thursday. That's right. So you're yeah. in town. Speaking of Rapid Relief. Right. Need, yeah. Might need one for one of those. Uh, but we've got lots to discuss when it comes mm -hmm. to Mr. Kachuk and Cassian suffering a two-game suspension yeah. uh, for playing the aggressor with Kachuk viewed as the unwilling combatant is two games on the money for you, Ryan? Yeah, I think it is. I think it's very on the money. It's kind of what we've seen. We saw it earlier um, with Milan Lucic. He was uh, suspended two games. Uh, and so, honestly, I think that is probably what I think a lot of people expected uh, when it came down to this. That was just a wild night. And when you think about the Battle of Alberta, Everybody's been saying it's been more of a pillow fight of late, but all of a sudden three hits by Matthew Kachuk, a pretty aggressive uh, retaliation by Zach Cassian, and all of a sudden that battle is, you know, if you take this out to Alberta, this conversation is heated. This thing is gone nuclear <laughs> in terms of a reaction. These yes. three hits, these the people involved, it's wonderful. The media are weighing in, fans are weighing in. It really is back to where we are today. It's not the same full brawls that we used to see in the 80s. It's different now. It is a little different. It's a little more 2020. Yeah, and it feels like but a, it's intense. a war of words as well because yeah. a lot of that, you had Cassian post-game really giving it to Kachuk still. Kachuk kind of still, you know, saying his piece. Yeah. Like quite eloquently, I have to say, because he, he was saying it in a way that was like a dig without really being one. Yeah, it's, he's pretty calculated. Yeah. He, uh, he knows what he's saying. He knows what he's doing on the ice. For a young player who has you know, dipped a toe over the line in the past, uh, there have been examples of him maybe being that agitator, being that pest, being that person that really you hate to play against. But I think he's also done enough in his young career to make it where you want him on your team. Let's not forget the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, they could have drafted him. And for the fan base, I think that still sits real heavy. That's right top of mind. They loathe him. He's okay with it. Uh, but the reality is they could have had him at one point. So uh, all of these storylines, those hits, uh, whether or not he was going to retaliate, whether or not he has to answer the bell, there's great debate. But he puts it calculated where he thinks he's more effective on the ice versus Zach Cassian. That's a trade-off he's willing to take. I get it. You play a certain game, you better answer the bell at some time. And he has. He fought Kyle Clifford after the whole Drew Doughty thing. So there are examples of him doing it, but should he be doing it more? That really depends on who you ask. But the, as he said to me after the game uh, on Saturday night, it was, hey, we'll take the power play, we'll take the goal, and we'll take being first at that time in the division. So, smart. Now, one thing Cassian felt like he really wanted to point out in those latest comments was the fact that, like, We'll play again. We're in the same division. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get rid of me. But <laughs> maybe Oilers fans are forgetting that there's someone else that could be a problem. Yeah, I mean, when you start thinking about who this involves, this is certainly a thing, a beef between Cassian and Kachuk. But there is Milan Lucic, and he is the great equalizer because this is a former Oiler who knows all about Zach Cassian, who knows all about Matthew Kachuk. Kind of neat the way James Neal snuck in there, yeah, too, because there was some well. former teammate yeah. of the Flames, and uh, there were some comments as the uh, two teams were coming off the ice after Saturday night, a little back and forth. They couldn't see each other. There's a curtain there, but there was some... You could hear it. Yeah, there was some shots fired back and forth. So it's great theater. It's great drama. Again, the media weighing in up in Edmonton pretty heavy about this. Um, and maybe it's justified. Maybe it's um, just a part of it all. Um, but this is one where it's not over. So juicy. Is Kachuk Calgary's most important player, Ryan? He is. Yeah, yeah, he is. And he is now. And I think that reflects not only in who he is as a player, his contract, what he's done so far, what he's capable of doing. We all know he comes from great stock. Uh, his dad, Keith, played a pretty rugged game. Yeah. Yes, his uh, dad would answer the bell from time to time uh, as well. Played a, a physical in-your-face style. But uh, he is, Matthew is the most important piece. He's the smartest, who offers probably the most in terms of those intangibles. Um, points, yes. 
you know, getting under the skin of so many. He's a difference maker. And now that they have a physical team um, where that sort of thing isn't, where he has to answer the bell constantly, because they, you know, a year ago they just didn't have that overall team toughness. You bring in Milan Lucic, they've got Zach Ronaldo. Uh, Sam Bennett is undercover tough. So they've got, and, and Matthew can play a style that uh, is physical. Physical and fighting are two separate things. Agreed. So we'll see how they get blended. And depending on which side of the rivalry you fall on, or just even as the casual observer from other markets, it is so fun. Well, it's great. We need this. Right? Like, there is no negativity no. in this for me at all. I know. And it's I not a pillow fight. I love me some petty, too. And yeah. speaking of petty, the Calgary Flames fans are jumping on an interesting opportunity. Apparently, they're doing a GoFundMe for a billboard to put Matthew Splash, Matthew's face in Can Edmonton. Can you imagine? I, I'm not sure which <laughs> NHL said it, but he's got a punchable face. Oh, yeah. I think he knows he does. <laughs> that crazy hair uh, and that face. And honestly, uh, uh, from what we know, uh, a fan has started a GoFundMe page where you can donate to have a billboard placed in Edmonton with that mug of Matthew Kachuk on there. I Can you imagine him just maybe standing <laughs> under it like, we did it. We did it. Yeah, because like you know you really, that's you know, what he might, yeah, we're going to take them oof. off at a whole other level. Uh, the theater only gets better in the fact that mm -hmm. Cassian's two-game suspension and just in time for that January 29th tilt. What a return it will be. He will be there. And as we know, everybody across social platforms has heard and seen now Zach Cassian talking about the fact that you can't hide, he doesn't forget, and there will be more to come. I love it. We'll all be watching. Thanks, yeah. Ryan. You bet. Thank you.